Okay, but this is not an answer. Uh, when Muhammad, he know nothing, and Jesus know everything, that's mean but Jesus, uh, Jesus. Jesus is special. That doesn't mean he's God. Okay, how? What how about no, no, you see that? No, you see. Hold on, hold he on. Do a lot of stuff. My friend, my friend. When when you say Jesus is a special, he's a special in what? He's just like a hippie. He's like <laughs> all love. You know, if you want to, if you if you are trying to insult, I would hang up on you. What hippie? Jesus oh, is no, hippie now. I'm saying he was very like he's very just giving. He was uh, the okay. meaning. This of is not what we are asking for. We are asking How him about. We are asking was... about his ability. His his ability. So if Muhammad in the Quran in chapter six verse number fifty. He says, I don't claim, I claim not that I know I have the treasure of God in my hand, nor I know the unseen. Muhammad, he made it clear, don't ask me a question, I do not know anything. But didn't he claim that he had some answers of the unseen? And he, then... He have, you see here... If, and if, then what about... You know, I, what about all the eyewitness accounts that people saw him split the moon and people saw Medina get dim when he died? And it, and it, none of and this, it, none of this is in the Quran. None of this, you know, this is the Quran, even the even the, the splitting of the moon in chapter of the moon, uh, doesn't say that Muhammad or even his God, he split the moon. It says the moon is split, ascender, lift ascender, and the, the, and the judgment day is near. So what Muhammad, he is saying that he saw the, the, the moon split. And then you will find the story in Muslim stories saying that Muhammad, he split the moon. But the Quran say clearly, Muhammad have nothing, no miracle. The Quran, if we go right now to the Quran, in the front of your eyes, if you are watching my screen, you will see Muhammad, he announced clearly by his Quran that Allah gave him zero miracles. Zero. Chapter 17, and by the way, if you go and check chapter 17, you will find that this is way, way after Muhammad became a prophet. So in chapter 17, it says, we did not send Muhammad any miracle. Nothing made us abstain, abstain from sending miracles, except that people in the previous generation did not believe in them. So the Quran confirmed that Muhammad has and received zero miracle from Allah. And this was an excuse of Muhammad saying that people of former generation did not believe in them. In fact, they do. And we do, correct? I believe in the miracles of Moses. I believe I in the miracles of the yeah, prophet. Uh, and we believe well, in the miracle of Jesus. And even we believe in the miracles of the disciples because even the disciples of Jesus, they did miracles. So this is, was a false excuse from a false prophet who could not prove himself to his followers. Somebody said in the chat, well, I'm, you know, I'm just, because I'm, I, I, when I'm on the phone call with you, brother, I'm just on Skype. I'm not looking at the comments. I'm not looking, but since no you problem. said to look, so look. Mm -hmm. okay. Somebody said, say something about the dream. Very quickly. I was in a mall by myself walking around, top floor by myself. I saw a mirror, like, you know, where you look, check out the outfit that you want to buy, maybe. I looked in the mirror, brother, and I saw Jesus, like, it was me, like, I wasn't Jesus. I looked in the mirror and saw Jesus. Maybe that symbolizes Jesus is within us. I don't know. Whatever. And I said, can you make me strong like you? And then I just felt... <sighs> Like my back, every bone in my back, I just felt like electrocuted and I woke up and I was just happy. And I, I can't describe the dream, brother. It's a beautiful dream. But being a Muslim, we believe in Jesus. Doesn't that just mean I had a dream of Jesus? Like, like, what's the significance of my dream? Does that... Well, I will leave your dream to you. You see, I'm not here to convince you to follow Jesus. Right, maybe, I'm not asking maybe, you. Maybe the dream, Lord, but... maybe the Lord, he have a message for you. Maybe, I don't know. But for me, I'm here to discuss with you that Islam is obviously a false cult and there's nothing truthful in it. Nothing well, did truthful. any Christians ever dream of Muhammad? Yeah, I, I would dream about him what? Having sex with a child? Doing what exactly? Well, okay, brother, like, okay, in the 80s, you had women being married at 15. Don't you think 1,400 years earlier that... We are I talking mean, about, we are talking about six years old, which is five, actually, weird. which is that five. Is, I think that's very strange. Okay, so it, it is not even six, by the way, it's five, because six in the Islamic calendar is five in the our calendar. And... Uh, right, with the moon cycle. Yeah, right. and the Muslim, they say that Allah, he inspired Muhammad to marry Aisha, Allah. So even that they nicknamed the, that Allah, he, you know, he gave Muhammad uh, the, the, the order, he ordered him to marry Aisha. 
so Muhammad he claimed that it's not me who won it, you know. But we know that in different hadith, Muhammad he encouraged his followers, and one he of them said, play his with the young girl so you can play exactly. With he said, why you don't go and you know have a wife? She is a, a, a child, so you can sport with her, and she can sport with you, and she, you can amuse her, and she can amuse you. Thank you.